Trackmania players don't get surprised too often. In the world's most competitive racing game, with millions of players and a record history spanning over a decade, we'd like to think that the tracks in Trackmania Nations Forever have become somewhat optimized. But in March of 2021, a stunning new discovery sent shockwaves through the Trackmania community. When a painstakingly obvious shortcut that had been hiding in plain sight for 13 years was discovered. This is the story of the shortcut on D06 Obstacle. To start off, let's have a look at the track. At a first glance, D06 Obstacle seems like a rather simple track, where all you do is drive wall rides round and round in a circle. But there's more to it than meets the eye. The track has three laps, and it starts out very slow in the first lap, but you progressively build up more and more speed later into the race. And at those speeds, it gets very tricky to control the car and to avoid crashes. The track has just one checkpoint, placed here, on the opposite side of the finish rate. And since you're driving round and round, it didn't seem like the track had any possibility of a shortcut. In the early days, the way to go fast on D06 was by driving smooth wall ride lines. In order to drive a fast wall ride in Trackmania, the goal is to enter and exit the wall as low as possible, and drive a smooth curved line between these two points, hitting the highest point of the wall just in the middle of the wall ride. This is because when you drive a wall ride in Trackmania, the car doesn't have full grip on the wall, so you want to minimize the time spent on the wall as much as possible. Optimal wall ride lines might seem like minute details, but on D06 Obstacle, these details are incredibly significant. As the better your wall ride lines are, the more speed you'll build up continuously throughout the track. And the best players even manage to go too fast. In October of 2008, a player called Villivano took a particular liking to this track, setting a new world record of 1 minute and 2 hundredths. In his run, Villivano managed to go so fast that in the ends of lap 1 and 2, he had to let go of the acceleration for a split second, so that he could get a good approach into the first wall ride as had he gone at full speed, he wouldn't be able to make it down to the exit point in time, and would instead go flying, losing out on a ton of speed. With that little strategy and solid driving overall, Villivano managed to get the D06 world record, but he was far from satisfied. Many players were talking about breaking the 1 minute barrier, but Villivano dreamed even further. He had a sight set on 58 seconds, and over the next one and a half years, Villivano beat his own world record four more times, until finally, in July of 2010, he achieved his goal, setting a 58.89 on the track, which at the time was almost a second faster than second place. He'd seemingly gained the time out of thin air by just driving cleaner racing lines on the wall rides and continuously building up more speed, and it would be very hard for others to contest the record. But one and a half years later, a player was up for the challenge. Bombic. Bombic also took a liking to D06 Obstacle, and in January of 2012, he managed to take down Villivano's record, setting a new world record of 58.63, primarily gaining the time by driving a much cleaner entry into the second lap, and setting a very strong benchmark on the track. A so strong benchmark in fact, that this would go on to be one of the longest standing world records in the game of all time. And in 2017, his record had stood for over 5 years unbeaten, and at that point it had become the second oldest world record in the game. The oldest Trackmania records are usually the most prestigious to beat, and this made D06 Obstacle a target for record hunters. And only a little while later, in October of 2017, the record was finally beaten by the player Sativa. Sativa fell behind Bombic for most of the race, but he was able to catch up just in time with a great last lap setting a 58.56, and defeating one of the most legendary world records at the time. His record would also stand for some two years, until finally in September of 2019, this record was beaten by Darkbringer, who set a 58.50. With the improvements on the track getting smaller and smaller, it was clear that players were getting closer and closer to the limit on D06, and Darkbringer's new record was nearly perfect driving clean wall rides and maintaining as much speed as possible continuously throughout the track. And it really seemed like the record wouldn't go much lower. But in March of 2021, just a few weeks ago, the player Roland decided to play D06 Obstacle. And when he did, he noticed one small thing 
that had been hidden in plain sight for 13 years, a potential shortcut on the 6 obstacle. You see, there's a fundamental principle in Trackmania that time spent in the air is time spent not accelerating on the ground, and generally, in order to go fast, you want to reduce airtime wherever possible. But on the fateful day, 14th of March 2021, Roland revolutionized the 6 obstacle, when instead of staying on the ground, he decided to go flying. Fifty seven point thirty five, shaving off over a second versus Darkbringer's old record, a tremendous improvement on the track. In the entry of the second lap, Roland had gone at full speed instead of releasing, and then majestically jumped high and far to perfectly land into the next wall ride, and driving down to hit the exit point, reaching the checkpoint sooner but also carrying more speed, and in the third lap, he could afford to jump even lower, gaining a ton of time and completely crushing the world record. When other players saw this, they couldn't believe it. How could something so simple as a jump go unnoticed for over a decade? Because in the same time span, Trackmania players had found and done incredibly complex shortcuts, but not this one jump, which ended up saving more time than some of the other recent finds. The community was just stunned, but at the same time hyped, because when a new trick like this is discovered, Everyone wants to try to get the world record with it, and a gold rush of improvements ensued on the 6 obstacle. In the span of the next 10 hours, the entire top 10 leaderboard on the track was outdated, and the player Madsen managed to beat Roland with a 57.25. Together, Madsen and Roland would battle for the DO6 record, until two days later, Roland managed to get the first time under 57 seconds breaking perhaps the final full second barrier on D06, and a few days after that again, he improved to a very strong 5686, which is where the world record stands currently. This is perhaps where the story should have ended, but believe it or not, another new shortcut was just discovered on D06 Obstacle. Back in 2020, the player Alex theorized that if you took an alternative approach out of this wall ride, and then got a bug on the corner before the checkpoint, your car could lift into the air, and if you managed to fly out over the road border and onto the grass, you could theoretically use this statue to jump back onto the road just before the finish, and skip the last wall ride. Alex thought that doing this in the last lap might save a little bit of time, but in his own words he said, I know how unlikely these shortcuts are, but I just wanted this video to exist. And though it was indeed unlikely, we can be very thankful that he shared it because amidst the D06 gold rush, the player Jab discovered an improvement to the shortcut idea, where instead of going over the corner and hoping for a lucky bug, he would instead smash right into it, getting more air time and going over the road border with a spin. And after playing around with the idea on a practice track, Jab discovered that if done perfectly, this shortcut could save over 2 seconds. But doing it is incredibly difficult, and it's going to be very hard to pull it off on the real track, as you'll have to drive two and a half clean laps of D06 only to get one attempt at the end bounce and the statue jump. 
uh, currently players of the Trackmania shortcutting team fastest way only are trying it. And considering what they've managed to do in the past, you should be very careful to think that this won't be pulled off in the near future. Where the journey will go next on Dio6 Obstacle is uncertain, but no Trackmania player could ever expect two new shortcuts to still be found on a track that was widely considered solved. And it definitely puts into question whether other Trackmania tracks could still have undiscovered shortcuts on them. And it goes to show that we can never take for granted that we've reached a limit on a track. Because sometimes, all it takes is just one bright idea to wipe out the entire leaderboard in just a few hours. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with when more of my videos are coming out. And I will see you all in the next one. And a big thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. Your generosity is wholeheartedly appreciated. But that's it for now guys, until next time, have a good one.